good morning for those of you who don't know my name is Maya Karen I run a fashion blog called classically kept it does feature luxury contemporary and how to style and now natural hair care so if you are into any of those things please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the notification bell that way you will never miss a video so today's video is probably going to be a little short but I am going to be showing you all of my statement jewelry more specifically my earrings so if you don't know I love statement shoes and I love statement jewelry if you don't know I have been wearing these studs since last year of September 9th and then this year of September 9th I will finally be able to wear something more than these studs I feel as though that a statement shoe or a statement earring for me just kind of ties the look together and the fact that I have been wearing these earrings these same earrings every single day for coming up on a year is absolutely driving me insane I just kind of feel like I'm not put together when I don't have on a statement earring or when I don't have some type of like distinguishing earring on. I mean, it doesn't have to be like a statement, but it can't just be like th this small stud right here. I don't like that. I love studs, but they still have to have some type of character to them, okay? So this is in no particular order, and I do also want to state this. This is not fine jewelry. These are statement jewelry that is moderately priced. And actually, now that I'm looking at all of them, a majority of these, I will say 90%. It's actually from J. Crew. Now, if you guys don't know, I absolutely love J. Crew. It has been a while since I have done a haul from them. But when I think of J. Crew, um, I think of kind of like quirky chic, or I think kind of like work chic. And what I mean by that is J. Crew is known for having very classic pieces, but they will take a very classic like tweed suit that you'll be able to have in your closet forever, but they'll do it in a trending color. So right now you might see a tweed suit on J. Crew with like that pastel purple or like that green mint color okay so this is in no particular order I will let you know if any of them are still available most of them probably are not um, but yeah let's go ahead and get started okay so the very first one and if you don't know I'll just really quickly show you all of their jewelry especially their statement jewelry comes in like these little pouches which I absolutely love so the very first pair is going to be this right here absolutely gorgeous they look like this and I probably should have taken get closer I probably should have taken my earrings out to show you and like I said these are in no particular order if I can remember any of the prices I will put them down below because this earring actually I will show you in another color they come out with these all the time let's see if I can remember where the new hole is yes okay if you don't know I had to have surgery on my ear to kind of reconfigure it so this is what it looks like on these are not heavy but they're made very well they're they're substantial but they're not very heavy but this is what they look like on again they are from j crew and let me show you what i mean where are they and then i'll show you the baby version too i have them in white and they make these all the time so this is what they look like in white and we'll go ahead and try these on same thing these are made beautifully they're quality made and I believe that they were moderately priced I want to say they were under a hundred dollars now when we start getting into some more of the ornate ones from J crew they are going to be over a hundred dollars and I do have a Dior pair to show you that are a little on the pricier side but it's it's Dior but this is what it looks like right here these are the this is the clear version okay now because I am a creature of habit, as y'all know with my mint and beige dress from the Queen Collection. Here's the baby version, and it's just like a big stud. And this is what I mean by I don't like small studs. I, this is a stud, but it has, it has some character to it. Here's the baby version. Also, I will say this as far as J. Crew is concerned, I believe their posts are hypoallergenic. They are not like silver and gold. They're not like real okay this is statement jewelry we're not talking about fine jewelry that costs like twenty fifty thousand dollars okay but this is what they look like on absolutely love these okay like i said they're a stud but they're they're they have some character to them they're not just like a they're just not they're not just like a simple stud for some of the ones that i have that i'm not going to show you but this is what they look like Next, let's take a break from J. Crew for a second. These are from Cezanne. I did a small collaboration with them on Instagram. This actually goes with what I'm wearing. Um, but because I am waiting for September 9th, and to be honest, I will probably wait until September 10th just to make sure, just to be safe. And the reason why I keep saying that is when my ear, when I had my ear surgery, and then I went to a professional um, pierced, pierced person, I guess, was that a piercist? 
a, a piercing person they told me for like the things that i want to wear because i kind of showed the lady like a picture of what type of earrings i like to wear she told me that you're actually supposed to wait a full year before you start wearing those types of earrings okay so i'm waiting a year and a day just to be safe this is what they look like again they are from Cezanne. now these are beautifully made but these are very light okay okay now back to j crew so these right here are blue they make these in all different sorts of colors as well unfortunately for these i have stopped wearing these because for whatever reason the paint is coming off and I wish at this point that Ikea would just tell me whether or not a certain part of their pack system is coming back because I want the units before I start customizing. I would have had this cloth fist done and given y'all a review a year ago if Ikea was not playing with my life, okay? But this is what these look like. While they are beautiful, they have started to chip and I just don't like the way that it looks. But like I said, they make these all the time with like different colors that are on trend. So I just kind of wanted to show them to you. But this is what they look like. These again are beautifully made and they are very light, okay? More J. Crew. These were my Christmas earrings, I want to say a few years back but they look like this. And I love these because they're, again, they're statement but they have so many, they have a couple of different things going on. If you can't see, this is green, this is black, then you have some sequins, then you have like one right here that has a bauble that's like uh, black and green at the same time, okay? This is what they look like on. Very dangly, very shiny, to me, very Christmassy. All right, next to J. Crew, and they actually match with what I have on. And I actually wore these um, for a lookbook that I just previously did. These are definitely a statement. Of course, they're from J. Crew. They have a huge flower, and then they have like a tortoise shell hoop. I'm not really a hoop girl, but when you add the flowers, I absolutely love it. And believe it or not, these are not heavy it looks like these would be like weighing down your ear but they don't they're actually quite light i love them not for the hoop but i love them for the earring i mean for the flower and the fact that they're 3d okay next we have zara this is actually my only pair of earrings from zara and these are gray and gold and these i wear a lot in the winter time and in the fall with my gray my gray clothing these are from Zara. So, you know, of course, I think these were maybe like $30 from a couple years ago. But I love these. They're very different. And you can see that it has a little gold flex. And then the background is like this kind of silver painted gray. Okay. Next, y'all have seen these before. Had I have known that these were clip-ons, I would not have bought them. These earrings hurt so bad but they are so gorgeous. I need Tory Burch to do better. But it's these right here. Y'all have seen these a hundred times before. Y'all know I'm not really a logo person, but I feel as though, just like on my Eleanor bag, I feel as though that the logo, it doesn't say Tory Burch on it. And if you don't know, you don't know. I mean, at this point, who doesn't know what the Tory Burch logo looks like or who she is? But I love these because it was just beautifully done. Whenever I tape in these, I think after about 10 minutes, I have to take them off and take a break. So these are probably, you know, in the house, shoot a, shoot a video and then take them off. These are not earrings that you are going to be able to wear all day. You, your ears, your earlobe will probably be beating, bleeding, but these are absolutely gorgeous. Next, but what else, J. Crew? And actually, before I started shopping at J. Crew, because of, I didn't really like look at their jewelry section, I just kind of assumed, like I said, that it was like workwear and things like that. I didn't, I didn't know that their earrings or their jewelry was so ornate. I did not know until I actually started shopping there. But it's these right here. How gorgeous are these? Again, substantially made, but they are not that heavy. Okay. Next, my wedding earrings. Love these, and they go with the comb that y'all see me wear all the time. But it is these right here. You can't really see them, so I'll see if I can turn it down some no I'll just put them on but they're just crystals and then right oh goodness there we go and then right here and right here you have some pearls and you know these are David's bridal you know so we're not talking a substantial amount of money but I still really love these of course I'll never get rid of them but yes these right here absolutely gorgeous and I actually bought these in the combs at different times I was kind of worried because they wouldn't match but they both went beautifully with my reception dress and my ceremony dress and the and the hair comb but yeah this is it right here 
Next, these are from a black designer by way of Etsy. I believe it was her or someone that she knows where Beyonce actually sourced some of her jewelry for, I think it was lemonade. I got these by way of Etsy. I will put her shop at the bottom, but it is these outrageous. And I actually saw these on Monroe Steel first. If you don't watch her, check her out. She is all things black girl magic. But these are so ridiculous that they're just, they do it for me. Um, yes, they are heavy. As you can see, my ear is drooping. I do actually have some earring backs that I'm going to show you that will help with heavy earrings. But I love these. Oop, I didn't fully put it in there. There you go. Okay. But I love these earrings. How outrageous and how outlandish are these earrings? These are definitely a statement. You will be noticed anywhere you go go okay but I love these it has the dangly bits it has the cowrie shells and these are handmade so I have these right here that will help you with heavy earrings and on the heaviest earrings I will show you the difference with these okay next it comes in this box it is the ore it is their tribal earrings I love the packaging so initially and the ones I'm getting ready to show you are actually separate you have to buy them separately so they're the ABC tribal earrings so Initially, when I bought these, I thought I bought an M and a K from Maya Karen because I was looking for something classic but also customizable. So I bought the first one and I fell in love with it, which was this one. Okay, and then I ordered another one and y'all, I swear that I pressed the K. Clearly I did not because now I have two M's. But then when I got married, I got I got a T from Mrs. Turner. So I absolutely love these. When I bought them, they were $240. They are now up. So they're uh, $10 up. They are $250. I will link these down below because they do have these with just the plain. And then they do also have them with like the faux crystals. Okay. Birthday, more than likely, I will get a K. So here is the T on this side. And the T should actually go on this side for Maya Turner. But I just want y'all to see what it looks like. So here's the T. And then I will go ahead and put an M on for y'all. Oh, I lost my hole. I still, to, I still have to get used to my new hole. Because it's nowhere where the old one was. Okay. So it should be switched around. But it should be Maya Turner. But it's Turner Maya. But it's fine. So here is the M like this. And then here is the T. Okay, and they go all the way from A to Z in the plain ones like this, and they go from all the way from A to Z with the crystal ones, okay? The crystal ones are a little bit more. I think at this point, they're around two, 270. And like I said, they are single. You buy one. Now, the rest, the classic tribals, you do get, it is a pair. But note that when you're doing the ABC tribals, it is one by one. It's sold as a, as a, as a single, okay? Next is another black designer and I have no idea, I will link her down below, but I have no idea where the backs went. I'm pretty sure I was trying to borrow. So I would just hold one up and then I will show you. But it looks like this, absolutely love it because of the color. And then this is what it looks like on. I don't know what happened to the backs. I think I was, you know, robbing Peter to pay Paul, but it never, you know, paid Paul back. But, um, or paid, y'all you know what I mean. But yeah, this is it right here. And hers are very, very, very affordable. In her newest collection, she did actually start coming out with some actual gold pieces. Okay, next we have this by J. Crew. I love these because number one, they're a statement. And then number two, they are um, not, uh, not opposing, but they are different lengths. I love that. I love the fact that they're not symmetrical. All right, so here these are right here. I absolutely love these. And every single time I wear them, they say, you know, someone will say, you know, hey, your earrings aren't even. Thank you. I know. That was the whole purpose. I bought them together. So here is the short version right here. As you can see, it's a flower with a stem and a couple of leaves or petals. And then this one is extended. So you have this one right here. Then you have this a flower. And it looks like this is a flower. And this is just like a ball of crystals. And then you have the stem. But I absolutely love these, okay? And where are they from? But anywhere, of course, J. Crew. Five. Okay, so we have five left, and I'm gonna go with these. I'm gonna go from my my least favorite. It's still a favorite, but my least favorite to my number one all-time favorite. So, and y'all seen all of these before, and they are all from J. Crew. So y'all saw these in my last lookbook for styling. I want to say these were under a hundred dollars as well. But I love the color of these. 
and I love the shape so it's right here and with an earring like this you can basically wear any color like outfit that you want you could do a full-on monochrome look whether it's pink whether it's green whether it's orange there's a little bit of purple in there or if you wanted to do like an all gold look and then you could wear these earrings but yes I love these all right so that's number five number four which one are we gonna do for number four let's do these for number four Let's do these for number four. Again, J. Crew. And these to me kind of remind me of like a dream catcher. They're kind of like in like they're kind of like um Native American inspired to me. See, this is what happens when you start. <laughs> this is what happens when you start, ouch, when you start um borrowing. I need to go to like Michael's or someplace and get um, some some um, alternative bags. Okay, so I just dropped that back. I have no idea where it went that I just stole from another earring that I need to find. But it looks like this, so is that gonna hang? Let it, let it, no it's not. Okay, so it looks like this. I absolutely love these. They're very different and like I said to me, they're like very Native American inspired. But with these, for when it comes to color, I don't necessarily dub one color for fall and winter and fall and winter or spring and summer. I wear these throughout. I am not that person that's going to stop wearing white because it's winter, but I love these. All right, so that was number four. Let's do number three. And y'all have seen these before, but I love these. And these are very statementy as well. Every time I wear these, I get so many questions. And these, I wanna say, I've had these prior to meeting meeting David so these are like four or five years old um but yes I love these you have the black thing right here you have the golden you have the golden black ball right here and then you have the black and white right here you have some beads and then at the bottom you have this tassel every single time I go somewhere these are always a conversation starter and believe it or not these are not heavy at all they're beautifully made but they are not heavy at all okay I lied, it's actually six pair. Okay, so this one, that was one, two, three, okay. And then this is going to be the fourth. Again, y'all have seen these before. And actually, I already have those earring backs that I showed you are already on these earrings. So it is this earring right here. And I love these because of the multitude of colors that it comes in. And then here is the actual back that I was showing you before. So you will take your earring, you will take off the original back, and then you can see a hole right here. You'll put that on just like a regular one and it will help elevate and it will help hold your heavier earrings better. So you won't have that droopy look. You see how that's right there on my ear? Much better. And I will be using these very often, especially with my heavy earrings that I will be wearing because I do not want to have ear surgery again. I actually had it twice, it was not fun. I did not know that much blood could come out of an ear. Okay, so it's these right here. Again, I love these earrings, and as a matter of fact, it goes very well with what I'm wearing. I will not be wearing these out of the house. I'll be putting on my boring studs again up until September, but I love these. You have the green, you have the pink, you have the orange, you have the red, you have the clear, you have the blue. So again, if you wanted to wear like a monochrome look with one of these colors, this earring would tie everything together, okay? But I love these. And again, beautifully made, they're not heavy, and then with the attachment that I will link down below if they're still available, it makes it even less heavy, okay? All right, so my top two, and I guess these are kind of like neck and neck because they serve to me like a different, a different purpose, okay? So let's go with these first. These to me are kind of like Christmassy earrings, but they can be dressed or they can also just be like regular earrings or they don't have to be worn during the holidays, but it is these right here. When I tell you I love these earrings, haven't been able to wear them, but I love these earrings. There is so much going on with these earrings that it just works. You have the crystal bobble, you have a crystal ball right here, you have a flower, you have some crystal tassels, then you have another flower, then you have some ribbon. So let's go ahead and put these on and then really quickly let me show you what I meant. Right here, you can I don't know if you can see that, but it does says it does say hypoallergenic ear post. And I do have an errand to run after work today. So I'll be putting on those regular boring studs. But if I was not, I would either wear these earrings or the other ones that I just showed you. So it is these right here. 
how gorgeous are these and because it also has so many different colors because i'm wearing this and it's up against this it's going to pull out different colors from the earrings if i was saying you know let's say if i was wearing white you see the white first if i was wearing this blue color you would see that blue first but i love these earrings i think this was a part of their holiday collection but like i just said i don't i don't dress like that if i want to wear something i'm going to wear it when it's time for me to wear my statement earrings, that's probably all you're going to see. I'll probably at that point just throw on a head wrap and wear a statement earring and sit in the house. But I love these, okay? Now, let's get into my second contender for my most favorite earrings at this point. I think, like I said, they serve different purposes because they kind of both give like a different vibe. But I love these, but... I also absolutely, to date, I think these are probably my favorite. I think I'm gonna have to say these are number one. But it is these right here. How gorgeous are these? They're huge, but they're actually not that heavy. They just make a lot of noise when you wear them. But I love these so, so, so much. They are so beautiful. Again, these are all white, but you will see me wear these in the dead of winter and not care. You know, sometimes when you have on like a full monochrome look and then you throw on like a huge pair of white earrings, it'll be a look. Again, beautifully made. Craftsmanship is there, but they are not heavy at all. I would probably say that these are the heaviest pair of earrings that I own along with these. But like I said, I will be wearing them with these right here because they really help to keep the earring up and not have your ear droop. But I absolutely love these earrings. They are beautifully made, they're statements, they tie an outfit together and I just love them, okay? So those are all of the earrings that I kind of wanted to show you. Like I said, a majority of them are from J. Crew. If any of them are still available, I will link them down below. But I didn't want to show you like my studs. Like for instance, I have this one right here from Banana Republic where you have the mixed metals. You have the silver and you have the gold. I have these from Majuri. You know, very simple stuff. They're studs, but they're not that simple. I do have the dupes from J. Crew from the Dior Tribals. Stuff like that I still have like kind of lying around, you know, when I'll be able to organize my clawfish, you know, once Ikea stops playing with me. But I just kind of wanted to show you really quickly my entire or my statement jewelry portion of my jewelry collection. I just want to let you know that here on YouTube, I do upload videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And of course, you know, right here, I'll put my Instagram handle. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, you guys. Bye.